Mm-hmm. It's a bit like being on a spaceship, doesn't it? It's just bad, but mm-hmm. you no. Know. Okay. Although spacemen don't really have a TV behind them. No, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. And they yes. usually have it in front okay. of them. Okay. They do. Okay. Most of the time, they don't even have a TV. What's that? Now I'm <laughs> excited to see what's there. Happy Publications Day oh, from HarperCollins! Oh, wow. Look at this. Is this for me? Thank you very much, madam. Thank you very much, Elliot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. <coughs> there we go. Should I show this to... Uh, is this on camera at all? <laughs> I, don't I don't know whether they're being recorded, am I? They are being recorded. Well, then. Yeah. Look at this, amazing. That's so cool. So look at these, let's show them to uh, wherever, we're, uh, to the camera. <laughs> Hero Rising, and look at these amazing cupcakes. Fantastic. Thank you. So these are all for me. It's a shame you don't like cupcakes. No. Do you do, do you like cupcakes? Yeah. yeah. Will we have one afterwards? Yeah. So will we chat and then we will stuff our faces full of lovely cupcake goodness <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. Isn't that do lovely? It. Thank you so much. And a lovely card as well, which we'll open. Where will we put that? Don't sit on the cupcakes. <laughs> Whatever we do. Thank you, guys. It's so nice. So nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. Um. I'm Elia and I'm eight years old and this is Madeline and she is ten years old and today we're here to meet one of the greatest authors <coughs> of all time, <laughs> <laughs> Mr Shane Hegarty, on his fourth book of Dartmouth. Thank you. Elia, that's the best introduction I've ever got anywhere in my life. <laughs> Thank you. Can I have a badge that says, one of the best authors of all time? <laughs> I get one of those. Yeah. You're one of the best television presenters. <laughs> YouTube presenters ever in the history of the world. Uh, uh, I've got, like, it's sort of a question. Yeah. Is the claw on number four the same as the claw on number one? Ah. Just a bit smaller. That's a great question. So, on my books and on the covers of my books... Because number one is like, uh, is like the, the palm. That's it. And then three and one. And that one's basically just the small palm. Yeah, so on the covers of my books, we've got these fantastic monster prints. And the first one is a little bit different to that and the different colours on them. Mm-hmm. So that, I don't want to give away too many things about the book, but that particular print, what, does it, what do you think it kind of looks like? A uh, claw. A claw. Does it look like a bit like bones? Yeah. So there's a clue as to what's in the book and the kind of monster that Finn has to fight, even though he doesn't want to be fighting monsters. And the finger monster thing. It is maybe a bone, maybe a creature made of bones. Like a skeleton. Oh, the, maybe a skeleton. The, the finger monster thingy. In the first <laughs> the book where, mon- they cut off, where they cut off the monster's finger and give them a diamond finger. The That's hobby. right. Yeah. That's right. So I have all sorts of creatures and in my books and all sorts of monsters and legends from myths all around the world. And I love finding all these crazy creatures and then seeing what crazy things I can do with them. So Finn spends his time when he's supposed to be uh, in school doing his homework and all of that and then suddenly he's dragged off, he has to fight a minotaur or a minotaur, whichever way you want to call it. People call it a minotaur and tell me I can't call it a minotaur. But Finn fights minotaurs and he fights crazy creatures that are mixes of all sorts. And one of the things in the new book that he might fight is maybe a creature made of bones. And fingers and <laughs> hips and pies and ribs and skulls and everything. <laughs> so there you go. And I was in Legoland last year and I thought, this is brilliant. All the kids are so happy. It's a wonderful, happy place. I wonder what would happen if it dropped a giant bone creature into it and let it run riot. If you, if you um, wanted to be a legend or if you were a legend, um, which one would you be? That's a great question. And why would you be that one? Because I it's... Know. It's a funny thing. Um, it's a funny thing trying to think of what kind of legend I'd want to be because they're all crazy combinations of different animals. So there's a, there is one in the second book, Worlds Explode, called the Orthrus, and it's a dog's body for, with a snake for a tail. And I always think it kind of looks scary, but if you wear the snake trapped between the back legs of a smelly, windy dog all your life, it wouldn't be much fun. So. It's really hard. I suppose you'd want to be maybe one of the big, strong ones. Like Gandrua. Maybe like Gantrua. Or his finger monster. Yeah, so Gantrua is a big... But he's not very nice. So I don't know. I'm trying to think. Do you know what would be a fun one? Would be to be a Hydra. 
or a basket. And you'd have six friends, you'd have six heads all the time with you. Or so a maybe basilisk. a hydra. And a basilisk. What does a basilisk do? He thi it thinks that it can, uh, like, um, turn anyone to stone just by doing this. Yeah. <laughs> that is. You could well turn me to stone if you do that. But what happens? It doesn't turn anybody to stone, is it? Yeah, yeah, and it says It just makes him look silly. Le just less threatening than a baby's giggle. Less threatening than a baby's giggle. And then um, the basilisks keep popping up in all the books and they never, the poor basilisk, never has its day. It's just a silly little creature. There you go. Elliot, what did you want to ask me? Wait, can I tell you my favourite Oh, sorry, legend? you tell me your favourite legend, of course. Okay, my favourite legend is the manticore. Because if I was the manticore, it means I would never have to stop talking because he's always telling <laughs> me this. And he does this. <laughs> yeah, and he's got... And the other thing the manticore has is, like, scorpion tail, doesn't yeah. it? Uh, that and shoots out spikes. Yeah. With Darkman, what's your favourite thing about uh, the Darkman? But what do you like about the books? And probably, I'll tell you the things that I like writing about them. Uh, probably the legend, the legends, like, yeah. Yeah, and do you have a favourite legend? Bruni. Bruni, who's a hogboon, isn't he? He's a little small Scottish sprite. And I have great fun making, doing really terrible things to him. And right. seeing what's the worst thing I can do to him. Like, he, they, when they, everyone's carrying their meat around, he's like, these people show off. Yeah, the yeah. meat that they've killed. So he's come from the world of the legends called the infested side and where there's not very much things growing or whatever. And then he sees uh, all the weird things that human beings do and uh, it completely confuses them when he arrives. And one of them is that they carry meat around, which he just finds to be the weirdest thing. Does he? Do they carry meat around? Yeah. Well, they do when you go to the shops oh, and you yeah. buy your mince for dinner. And when you oh, stop yeah. to think about it, it's a weird thing to do, uh, carry your meat around in your bag. <laughs> and yeah. Madeline, what do you... what? Um, what kind of things do you like about uh, Darkman? What kind of things do you like in books? Uh, well, I like the fact that even though Finn is like the main character, he's also like really silly. Because he, 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 I like the bit where he falls over and then he can't get back up. Yeah, like, and that, yeah, and that's what I love writing about Darkman because uh, he, Finn uh, doesn't want to be a hero. He so wants he has to, to be a vet. He wants to be a vet, but he has to be a hero. And then Emmy, who's his friend, she really wants to be a hero and she wants to run towards trouble but maybe she's not allowed to be a hero. And uh, so that's why I have such great fun writing it. And then I put all these crazy creatures in and silly jokes and scary bits and monsters and action and adventure. And I have so much fun. Do you know day? Uh, I'd either be Bruni or the Manticore, because the Manticore, it, it's really fun, because you're just doing this. And while they're trying to figure out, you just go. <laughs> yeah, I could like to be a hog boon. Right. Is they're like, yeah, they're just a bit like, you're like they're a bit I didn't disgusting. know that they were your black beetles. <laughs> <laughs> you know it off by heart, Elliot. This is fantastic. <laughs> he knows all of the crap. He knows all of it. You know it better than I do. <laughs> Front. I, I made my own book. I, I didn't actually write in it, but it was like sort of a secret book where oh, there were yeah. no pages. That was so wow. cool. And it was um, Dartmouth. War Expands. War with, Expands, that's a great with, title. With, but with the two yeah. scars. Two scars, fantastic. So what do you think would happen in... So what's your... When you, so when my you're, guess yeah. is that the three scars is like, it's dangerous but not that dangerous. The yeah. two scars is more dangerous. And then the first one is like really dangerous. And then the lot, um, when there's no more, um, it's like, that's it. Everyone will probably die. Well, I tell you what, the, that, that is not far off what's happening in the third book. What I would do if I met a legend, if it wasn't looking at me, I would get a lasso, throw it over its head. This is what I do without the lasso. Um, and so normally I do it like this. I get my hands in front of their legs yeah. and I pull their legs up and then go boom. Very good. And it sort of knocks them out. It'd be hard to lasso a hydra, wouldn't it? Because it's got like seven heads. Yeah. So you'd have to lasso one head, <laughs> then another head, and then another head. That's but a good one. Lassie, what would you do to take a... I, w I would like, um, I would, I would feed them their favourite food and then get on them and ride them around. <laughs> feed them their favourite food. <laughs> wonder what's a minotaur's favourite food, I think, is human beings. Yeah. That so might be the problem. So I'd feed you to... Oh, no. <laughs> you to the minotaur. Oh dear, I knock out its teeth. <laughs> <laughs> this is I always wanted to know this. Yes. What is your best like British accent? 
My best British <laughs> accent. <laughs> Do you think I've got a funny Irish accent? No, it's just a, not a British accent. What's my best British accent? <laughs> See, there's loads of different British accents, aren't there? Um, oh, I'm going to embarrass myself now. <laughs> Maybe I should talk really posh like this. <laughs> Is that the way I should talk? <laughs> Maybe if I talk like this all the time. Imagine I went home to my four children uh, in the Ireland and said, Hello, children. Daddy is home. <laughs> Is that good? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to talk like this for the rest of my life. I mean, and you can do nothing about it. So you, so you had to come all the way to England just to get an interview? Just to get an interview? Well, I had to get it with the best, you see, the best presenters in the world. So that's why I came here, obviously. So what was your next question, Elliot? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Do you Madeline. want me to do my Irish accent? Oh, have you got an Irish accent? <laughs> okay, Madeline, uh, I want to hear your really cool Irish accent. <laughs> I was doing it to my friends at school. He was like, hello, I'm Finn and I'm from Darkmouth and my best friend is Emmy. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> That's actually really good. <laughs> Elliot, see if you can be as good as that with your Irish accent. I'm a tree. <laughs> what, you've actually said, Ir you've actually said Irish words. <laughs> <laughs> now, people who are watching this might think a oh, Hina Doa tree yeah. might be something like, uh, oh, go away or something, but it's not. What is so it? One, 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 two, three. three. One, two, three. And will I, will I, uh, so I put little bits of Irish into my books. I won't tell you Hain more time. Uh, more time. How did you know that? Where did you learn your Irish? Lane. Elaine. Lane, is that right? Yeah. You know somebody, is she a teacher? Oh, no. Hey, she's, she's our, our nanny. nanny. She's your nanny. Oh, Paddy Joe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paddy Joe. <laughs> well, Mahu. Okay. If giraffes wore polo necks, yeah. how big would the, the shirts have to be? <laughs> if, if giraffes wore polo necks, how big would their shirts have to be? Quite big. Really big, wouldn't they? Their shirts or their neck, they'd have what they'd have. Maybe they'd have normal shirts like this one. No, they don't. And then the collar, the and then the, yeah, and then the collar. They're it's just, a polo neck, though, is yeah. it, or a shirt? A polo neck. neck. So they'd have this really long, and then like, because it's a polo neck, it has to go all the way up to the top, uh -huh. and then you have to roll it back down. Don't you have to have another layer? So we go all the way back down again, and they could keep their little baby giraffes in there. Yeah, you could have like, like yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah, and they could give them the little baby giraffes stick their necks out every now and again uh -huh. and eat some trees. <laughs> no, this is my impression of um, a giraffe, a baby giraffe eating tree. <laughs> <laughs> it's like giraffes don't make Titans, any sound. Where they're, they're, like, they're like really small and then their mouth just suddenly goes really We big. like Teen Titans in our house. <laughs> Teen Titans are go. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Are we going to play a game? Now, have you played the Darkness game? Yeah. yeah. And how have you got, have you got a really good score? Yeah, we've yeah. got past 1,000. Right. Do you think you can beat me? Yeah. What have you got? Uh, I think I got nearly 3,000 one day, but I was supposed to be working. And instead uh. I was playing the game, because it's really addictive. <laughs> well, I have a little go. Yeah. Let's see if I can do it. I have to be good at this, because it's... My, I oh, came look up with the up idea. There's one. There's one. Brilliant. You There's tell me where one. they are. There's another one. Just shoot oh. that, just well, shoot see that. see if I can shoot the... Oh. Yes! <laughs> Jeez, that wasn't... <laughs> I like it, so... Oh, look at this guy here. Big, uh, there's a big minotaur. Just shoot it, just shoot it! Yay! Yay! Oh, I'll get a crystal there. Five, 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 five. We're doing well now. Yeah. We're doing well. Find that one. Then there that we one. go. Then that one. Then just there shoot it. Oh. oh, I missed it, I missed it. Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> this is bad, this is bad. No way, what? <laughs> get the bottle. Ah! No. I got eaten. No, by a manticore. I should have been careful. <laughs> Um, can you sign some Hero Rising books for us? Please? I would love to do that. I would love to do that. So will I do one for you and then one for Madeline? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. To Epic Elliot, beware of the monsters. Legends. That's right. I shouldn't be calling them monsters. They're legends, aren't they? Uh, so there you go, Epic Elliot. What, what's, can um, you please sign? What's that? That is a griffin. And oh, they yeah, are big, griffin. scary creatures. And do you want to be magnificent or monstrous, Madeline? Magnificent. There yeah. you go, your no, brother's on. No, she can be monsters. No. <laughs> magnificent. To no. magnificent. M-A-D. 
Do, Which, you, tell you what, do you want this one uh, for now? Yeah. You can have another one after, don't you worry. You can have both. Uh, Which one do you want, can Madeline? I have this one, please. You can have that one. And I'm definitely going to have one of these with the magnificent bone creature's hand on it. Um, Guys, cheers. 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 Uh, he's already started. Thank you for your amazing questions and for being such big fans of Darkmouth. I'm so delighted and I really appreciate it. And thank you for the cupcakes. You're I'm now going to stuff my face. <laughs> How quickly can we eat them? Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty quick. 